I speak good morning to all, and I hope you guys are having a very comfortable but warm day as well. I bring to you something different, so I'm going to let the Father and those above deliver that message, what I want to do and say of this video. Because knowing me, I'm only here to follow directions, or should I say follow Let's just say I'm here to follow things right now, all right? <laughs> uh, anyways, let's begin. Many people around the world are already aware on the names that is described in the Bible from Lucifer Morningstar, Asmodeus, and every other devil that is alive around. But what you guys don't understand that there are more than one devil. Some fight to try and claim territory in their spiritual realms. Sometimes they fight each other. Either way, they live a chaotic life as well. It's no different from the real world to theirs. But one thing always remain. Every devil that has ever fallen from above like a comet, are always claiming territories for themselves to rule over the whole entire world. Names are very familiar who you already know. But are you aware that there are the first, there is such thing called the first fallen angels that's ever, ever have fallen. I myself cannot give you that information. But I do know and heard many stories that there is the first angels that has ever fallen before Lucifer has ever fallen. There are the first ones that's ever fallen. The reason why there are others that we only hear like Lucifer, Asmodeus, all that stuff. It's because we're the only ones who know their story. But are you aware there are other ones before Lucifer and the rest? I was doing a couple of reading a couple of days ago. There was an angel they did mention that he was the first to ever fallen from above. So yeah, the list is pretty pretty big on how many who rebelled against God himself. Lucifer and the rest are not the first to actually rebel. These are the ones that have rebelled first in Lucifer. Little of the little of the ranks that has basically split and came down were the ones that did their thing, I guess you could say. They had important roles, but until something changed in them, just like Lucifer himself. And it's because of due to that, it's main reason why many have remained while others left. There were a few handful about this much that had rebelled. And they're seeking to see what they could do to get revenge due to what has happened. Well, that revenge is going to fail every single time, no matter who they are. Just like Lucifer learned the hard way when his fate was sealed. Just like the rest as well. It's no difference that there are others. Which is why God is trying to explain to all of you in the world, if you rebel... If you decide to dis decide to side with these devils, you're going to fall and you will be punished. God is trying to be serious with you guys. He is not trying to play any games. And he won't show mercy to nobody. Truth is, he will let you know. No more warnings. No more of anything it is time that all finally get things straight in their minds and if you cannot do that you will find yourself where you're at those who doubt his power those who say things what they say God knows that these devils and demons are trying to leave a message to those out there who are disciples 
and other chosens to make themselves known to us because of who we are. I've been getting a lot of messages. I've been delivered with a lot of things they will be saying to me. Situation that happens in the market. Fires being set off near where I'm living at. It's the devil's putting out messages to the world because they know their time is over. We have to be serious with our choices, whether you are normal or a chosen. I'm always going to be a chosen. I'm always going to be a disciple. Handpicked. And I know a lot of people are always wanting to see if they could be chosen. It's not easy. Because some of us have experienced death. I've died more than once. I'm alive today when I should have been resting. All right. Others who were brought back to life are going to have their reasons. If you experienced death and came back to life, you are chosen. But it's up to God if he knows you and why he picks you. That's just what it is. If you are someone who did experience death, it's because it wasn't your time yet. Sometimes not everyone is chosen when brought back to life. Only a few are chosen. Yeah, some might think it's unfair, but it's just the way it is. It's how God works. So many had to really get themselves cleared from their minds and understand God is the only one who choose. Once you find yourself really praying for him and finding him directly, that is the only way to be in the right direction. It's not about being picky. Because believe me, the stories of those who are not satisfied wind it up sucked into the ground and into the pit of fire. You ever heard the story of Kara? The guy wanted more. And God punished them all. 200 and, I believe 250 were sucked into the ground and fire blazed up on the bottom and basically swallowed them whole in the floor, just swallowed them. Be happy with what you have, even if you're not chosen. It's all about accepting what you have that God gives you. Don't follow that path that others have failed. It's time to take these steps and take a serious one. Choose well because it's going to really count. God is judging. God is watching. And he knows what you're thinking. Everything else, including those out there who are doing agendas still. Believe me, we're near. This is all I could say. But this is all I have to speak about. In Jesus' name, we say thank you for all you do, do for us. May you proceed to continue to help us through life, even through the thick and thin. Protect us always. In the name of Jesus, we love you very much, all of you. Amen. Thank you, guys. God bless.